make 100 to 300 percent returns on the equity. In this episode, I'm going to address the question, how to make money on rental property when it's vacant. People go, you can do that? Uh, yes. So get ready, put on your seatbelt. You're going to be blown away with what I teach you. So my name's Doug Andrew. I've been helping people optimize their financial assets now for four and a half decades. But I've helped a lot of people optimize uh, those assets that are maybe on real estate. So I'm going to start out with an example of a couple in the San Francisco Bay Area. This couple built a home like 45 years ago for their family of six. And uh, I think the original cost was about $250,000. Well, they've uh, invested in it, uh, remodeling it uh, through the years. And uh, that five bedroom home in Palo Alto, we're talking about San Francisco again, where real estate values, in my opinion, are way out of whack. Why? Because that five bedroom home a couple of years ago was appraised for $4.8 million. Now, some people think, whoa, I want to buy real estate in San Francisco. Uh, hold your horses. That's not so smart in my opinion because something's out of whack. Why? See, <clears throat> they were excited because uh, they were going to retire and they rented that home for 10 grand a month. Now, 10,000 a month sounds pretty good. Well, in the San Francisco Bay Area, the cost of living is quadruple what it is uh, over and above other areas in the United States. And so uh, when people are renting homes for 2,500 or 3,000 elsewhere, uh, if they are working in San Francisco, making three or four or 500,000, uh, the cheapest place to rent a home might be 10 grand a month. This is common, but people think 10,000 a month, that's 120,000 a year. And I look at them and I go, mm, that's pretty pathetic. And they go, what? I go, do the math. 10,000 a month is 120,000 a year. Yeah. Well. Divide 120,000 into 4.8 million. That's only two and a half percent return annually. You can do far better than that. So in a nutshell, <clears throat> what this couple did, they sold it. Now, they didn't want to pay much of a capital gain, but they wanted to replace the house. They retired in another state and they built a house twice the size, brand new, for uh, 800,000. So they used 800,000 of the 4.8 million and uh, ended up with a retirement home twice the size, brand new. That left them 4 million left over. What did they do with that? They bought a dozen homes in Memphis and Orlando for 300,000 because five bedroom homes, brand new ones in Memphis and Orlando are 300,000. And in Memphis and Orlando, where Federal Express is located and so forth, those five bedroom homes were 300,000 rent for 1% a month, three grand a month, 1% times 12 months. It's 12% annual return instead of two and a half percent. Are you getting it? They increased their cash flow on rents by at least quadruple what they were getting in San Francisco. Meaning that home in San Francisco, really isn't worth 4.8 million and it's going to crash someday. Or if it's really worth 4.8 million and if they were in line with other areas in America, it ought to be renting for 48,000 a month. They're not going to do that. Something's out of whack. And so they've been experiencing uh, four times the cash flow. They have a retirement home twice the size and it's been phenomenal. But the next thing they did is they actually mortgaged these new homes. So they were able to keep uh, 3 million because they mortgaged 75% loan to value. So they actually have 3 million of the 4 million. They could have paid cash for those 12 homes in Memphis and Orlando. No, that's not what I would do. They borrowed 3 million and they borrowed at four and a half percent tax deductible interest on those mortgages. That's a net cost of 3% in their tax bracket. 
So they're paying for the mortgages on those rentals uh, 3%. Now again, they're making 12 on the rents, but where's the other 3 million bucks that they didn't pay cash for the properties? It's in their laser fund, my favorite vehicle, and it's earning 9% or higher. So they're making on 3 million, 9%. Now that's 90 grand times three, that's 270,000. And the mortgage on those is only at 3% after tax. They're making 300% more on that money than if they paid cash for those properties. Plus they're making four times the rental income. Folks, you can do this. And so when we talk about how to make money on rental property, I started out by saying, hmm, how do you make money even if it's vacant? See, if they had paid cash for those 12 homes and all of a sudden uh, those properties are vacant, they have no cash flow. If that was part of their retirement income, they're up the creek. But if they have 3 million of that 4 million over in their laser fund, earning three times what the mortgage is costing them, they can peel off a third of the interest they're earning and make the mortgage payments. And they still have a net of 6% tax free, giving them cash flow, even though all 12 homes might be vacant because their money is earning more than the cost of the mortgage. If they pay cash, it's not making anything. Maybe it's appreciating, but hello, if it's empty, it's probably not appreciating, it's depreciating. So this is why I recommend many people dramatically increase the liquidity, safety, and earn rates of return, even if their rental properties don't have any tenants. If they're totally vacant, they are still making money on that property because they're earning interest that's double or triple the cost of the mortgage by having the use of other people's money. This is how banks make money. Is this making sense? So let me connect the dots for you. So if this is making sense, uh, I've been talking about, you know, don't take all your money and tie it up in other real estate. Uh, if you are going to have rental properties, I would strongly recommend instead of uh, sending every bit of extra rental uh, uh, income money towards paying down the mortgage, hmm, that may not be the smartest thing to do. I take the extra cash flow and I keep accumulating it over here in my tax-free side fund, my laser fund. And so that money is liquid. I can access it and it's earning returns. That's usually double or triple the net cost of the mortgage that empowers me so that if things get really bad, if it's vacant, I can't find tenants. I don't have rental income. It doesn't matter because I still have cash flow that is double or triple what I need to make the mortgage payment. If I paid cash, I don't have any cash flow at all. It's just trapped in the property. And it's hard to get equity out of a piece of real estate without selling it if you need the money. And if it's that bad, you're going to have to sell it at a, at a discount. You're going to have to take a depreciated uh, price for that. And so folks, this is what empowers people to be able to make money even if the real estate market drops down for a period of years. I've had many, many people send me thank you notes for teaching them this concept. So, what do you need to do with that money? What's a laser fund? Well, I want to empower you and educate you on what it is. I want to gift you a free copy of my most recent best-selling book titled The Laser Fund. And you'll see examples in this book of people who use it for real estate management like I've been talking about. You ready? So just like these people that I talked about, where did they park that money? In a diversified portfolio of laser funds. See, you can diversify and create the foundation for tax-free cash flow. The laser fund is a max funded indexed universal life insurance contract. Now people say, what? I've never seen an insurance policy that, that earns rates of return of six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10%. Well, then you haven't seen one structured this way. I have earned between six, eight, even 10% average for the last 45 years. You can see examples here in this book. So it's called the laser fund because laser is an acronym that stands for liquid assets, safely earning returns, serious cash money that you don't want to jeopardize. You want to make sure it's safe passes these four bars, liquidity, safety, rate of return and tax benefits. 
In this book, you'll learn how to take any investment and pass the laser test and why the laser fund is called that because it passes those four tests, liquidity, safety, rate of return and tax benefits with flying colors. So it's actually two books in one. This side uh, has about 200 pages with all the charts and graphs and explanations of how you can accumulate, access and transfer your money totally income tax free. If you learn more by stories, you flip it over and read this side and it contains 12 chapters, 100 pages with uh, 62 actual client stories. And you can read in here how people who manage real estate like to keep their money parked here where it's liquid and safe. They can access it with an electronic funds transfer or phone call. If you have money tied up in real estate, you either have to sell it or try to borrow money on that property. And when you need that money, the worst, it's the hardest to get because you can't qualify. This is a far better place to have working capital. If you like to invest in real estate, you'll understand why when you claim your free copy. So if you go to laser fund, L A S E R laserfund.com, you contribute a nominal amount towards the shipping and handling. I'll pay for the book and fire this out to you. And then you begin to study. There's options there to listen and learn, watch and learn. And I want to see you on the other side of your brighter future where you understand how you can become like your own banker by using the superior vehicles and strategies.